February 2014 concert at Independence Square, Ruslana, the winner of the 2004 Eurovision Song Contest, is playing the blue yellow piano. She believes the music will melt the hearts of Berkut officers. It is also a sign of support for activists and a way to debunk the Russian media's myth about the aggressive radicals of Euromaidan. During the revolution, many musicians and activists played this piano. For one activist, the musical instrument represents the struggle for a better life. Lashuk Yakumuch repeatedly played the piano during the events of Euromaidan. At that time, it was very important for me to support the people who are standing in Independence Square. I used to play the piano at night. I remember that it was very cold at that time. My hands were freezing. I am grateful to the volunteers who brought me tea. I was trying to play louder so the Berkut officers could hear the music too. Marina supported the spirit of the fighters for justice with help of her own song. She says those concerts in the streets united thousands of people together during tough times. I associate those events with cohesive people who want to change for the better and make it possible. Euromaidan began a new page for our history. It has changed us for the better. These songs and photos are of particular importance to Sergei. He was an activist during the Revolution of Dignity and then went off to fight in Donbass against Russian-backed separatist forces. The Revolution of Dignity has united people of different faiths, social status and age. They defended their rights and the freedom of Ukraine. I remember an old lady came to us and brought a thermos of tea to warm us up. People gave the last things they had for the sake of an idea. British photographer Joe O'Brien photographed ordinary people during the pro-EU demonstrations in Kiev's Independence Square. Three years later, he returned to Kiev to present his historical photos. The pictures depict burning barricades, thousands of activists, and the moment dozens of activists were killed in the center of Ukraine's capital. The Ukrainian revolution was the first revolution that I photographed. I photographed protests and demonstrations. I feel that it, it has really changed my life. It's like a feeling that I think, remembering today, like yesterday, uh, the feeling of um, when I was looking at events on um, TV, on um, online, it was, I just felt that sort of feeling from physical feeling of when I'd experienced the tragic events three years ago. The Ukrainian revolution was the first revolution I photographed. Until then, I had filmed only protests and demonstrations around the world. Euromaidan in Kyiv really changed my life. When I looked through the photographs again, I felt the same as I had three years ago, physical pain and emotional heaviness.